So I'm giving a virtual tour of the Downey Winjex base. This is the space which is located here in Halifax City Hall. So we're very excited about this space. As I was saying, it's here for us to have these important conversations. So here we have a display of different indigenous crafts and artifacts. We have a drum, which is actually a drum that I made and I donated it to this space. The Mi'kmaq Native Friendship Center also donated or provided on loan many of these baskets here which showcase our traditional indigenous basket making styles. We have a Métis sash. Uh, we also have some sage and medicine within here as well. And we have our Mi'kmaq Waltus board and game here on display and some wooden flowers. And we have this beautiful basket kind of, it's, it's kind of like a hat box almost that was made by Todd Labrador. The Downey Winjex base is part of the secret path, which Gore Downey from the Tragically Hip wanted to do something towards reconciliation, towards action for us to start making a change. And this is a picture of Chani Winjek, who at 12 years old ran away from his residential school trying to get home to his community and ended up passing away freezing on the tra railroad tracks on his way home. If you ever get a chance to watch the full Secret Path, I strongly suggest you do. It's such a powerful, important movie that needs to be seen. So we actually have copies of the Secret Path book here as well. Uh, the Assembly of First Nations Chiefs had sent us these books on the Indigenous People Atlas of Canada. We have resource materials here, such as uh, George Paul and the Honor Song, learning more about the songs. We had the book from Del Doug Knockwood talking about uh, his stories and memories and reflections. He's now passed. And we have some books from uh, highly respected Danny Paul from the Mi'kmaq community. We also have what this is a piece of an artifact, uh, a sculpture that was done by a local artist in memory of Gore Downey, and it's actually really unique. If you look really closely at it, you can see that this hat and microphone and microphone stand is all made from recycled pieces. As you can see, those are the ends of the feathers make up, are made up from spokes of the fan, and then the, the, there's pieces of silverware that are there as well. We have the hat, which is actually a double boiler, the microphone is a strainer and a flashlight, and this is part of an old lighting structure. So we're very thankful that we have this on display too, is here as well. And then we have, of course, our boardroom set up where we can have these important meetings and discussions. This art piece is absolutely spectacular, and we actually got this from Alan Silloboy. We got this artwork was done on canvas and it was given to the city many years ago and we actually had the opportunity to get it out of storage and put it up here and display it. It's absolutely amazing. Alan Silvery is a well-renowned Mi'kmaq artist from Millbrook First Nation and we're so excited and pleased and honored to be displaying his artwork here in our legacy space. So if you ever get a chance to come to Halifax, we also, the room is open to the public and you're welcome to come in and view it and see the stuff that we have on here. We tend to try and switch out the, the items in the, show, in, the, in the showcase here to switch them up and give opportunities to show other artists and other craft work. So we're very excited and thank you for joining in and looking at our tour of the Downey Winjek Legacy Space located here in City Hall. Thank you.